Hey, what's up? In today's video, we're going to be covering what I personally think is the best cold outreach tool on the market right now, smartly.ai. And I personally use it to book over 60 meetings per month with. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Matt Lucero. I run a B2B performance-based lead gen agency over at Nevo Marketing. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Smart Lead is a cold email sending tool that not only has a ton of features relating to cold outreach, but is super stable and super affordable. And I cover all this here in the video. So without further ado, I'll just dive straight in. All right, so diving straight into Smart Leads platform. The first thing you're gonna see when you log in here and create an account is you're going to be here in your email campaign dashboard. Now, since you probably don't have any campaigns, this is gonna be empty and I do have campaigns, which is why this is full. I'm gonna show you how to create a campaign, but before we do that, we're gonna actually need to add an email account. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go over here on the email account section and click in the top right, click add account. And you're gonna add an email account based on whatever provider you use. So if you're using Gmail, SMTP, Outlook, or Zoho, then you can add based on the rules there. And then after you've added your account, it'll populate in the email account section. So let's just click into an account so I can kind of break down the settings. So over here in the overview section, you're going to see an overview of the email accounts warm up history. So warm up is a really crucial part that you're gonna to wanna to enable in any sort of email campaign. It's essentially adding you to a network of the other inboxes on the smart lead network and sending out emails to each other to increase deliverability. Here's where you can monitor that performance here. So you can see the sent, the replied, if any have landed in spam, which would not be a good sign, but all the emails are landing in the inbox here. So that's good. I'm going to go over here to general and under the general settings, you can set the messages sent per day, the minimum time gap, signature for each email inbox, uh, CRM settings and custom domain tracking, which I highly recommend you set up if you're going to track opens. But once again, tons of features here in the general setting, warm up. Here's where you can add the email accounts warm up so you can enable it, set the total number of warm up emails you want to send, add a ramp up, randomize the number of sends and the reply rate. Now, the really cool part about Smartly that I haven't seen in any other tool is that you can add a custom warm up identifier tag. So every other tool on the market that I know of doesn't let you actually configure what you want your warm up tag to be. So you can configure it here and set it accordingly so you can filter it out in your actual email inboxes over here on management you can add tags and add to client once again super useful feature i haven't seen any other tool have where you can tag client inboxes or tag your own inboxes based on whatever criteria you want so that you can filter super easily filter between accounts and manipulate that however you'd like i'm telling you this is a game changer on the management side because no other provider that i've worked with has had tags and it's made it so much easier to manipulate different email accounts and then another feature smart lead has that i'll dive into later is adding clients in the white labeling feature what this essentially allows you to do is be able to add clients to these email inboxes and then build a dashboard to where they can log in and see their email accounts performance. Another super useful feature would highly recommend you check it out. Campaigns, this shows you the different campaigns that this email account is on. Currently there's no campaign, so this data is empty. But now that you've added your email account and you have it all configured to however you'd like, you can add it to an email campaign. So to add something to an email campaign, you're gonna navigate over to email campaigns and create a campaign. First thing it's gonna ask you to do is upload a lead list. So before you actually start sending out cold emails to leads, you're going to need to provide the leads. So we're going to go over here and select a sample lead list really quick. And then you can configure, do you want to import if they're part of the block list, unsubscribe list, or if they exist in another campaign. Uh, and then you can also give this campaign a name. So we'll name it test, first name, last name. And then here's where you actually map the fields from the CSV over to Smart Lead. So essentially Smart Lead needs to know what the fields actually correspond to in the variables. So for company, we're going to map that over to the company name, title, Let's say we want to import the title from the CSV. We can make that a custom field, or if it exists somewhere, then we can add it, add a LinkedIn URL, so LinkedIn profile. And then if you have a client, you can add it there. Um, after this imports, then we're gonna go over to the mail section. So here's where you can write the email copy that you're gonna send out to the lead list. Once again, here's where the magic happens. So in the subject line, you can type whatever you want the subject to be, obviously. So we'll use the, the infamous quick question, which I somewhat rec I, I don't know if I'd recommend using it, but this is just a demo. Um, we'll put like, hi, first name. You can insert variables by typing them out, or you can click over here and click insert variables to see what you have. And then you can write the email, test email. 
Uh, if you want to add colors or any sort of configuration, you can do this in the bar up top here, more misc, you can add, check the code view, do whatever you want. If you want to insert your signature, it automatically gets inserted at the bottom here for the email account you're sending from. But if you want to add a PS line, which goes after the signature, you can put the signature variable there and type PS, whatever you want. Hello. Another cool feature about Smart Lead is that you can add different variants to split test from. So if we wanna say, hey, I wanna split test a different subject line, so we'll put subject line two, and we wanna see which one performs better, then you can conduct split tests. You can conduct different split tests with different texts and as many as you want. And then you can add more steps here. So if you want a more uh, thought out sequence, you can add more emails here. Now, Smart Lead allows you to add LinkedIn as part of the sequence, which is another super cool feature that I don't see many cold email platforms have. I'm not going to demonstrate it because it adds complexity to adding to this campaign, but we'll show you a little bit of how you can add a LinkedIn account after. It's a new feature they rolled out, but we'll add another email. Uh, let's say we want to do a new email here, then we can add another subject line. If we want to be part of the same thread, then you can leave it empty. So you can type another email here. Hi, first name, and then you can you know email to, and then it'll add the signature, add as many steps as you want, and then you can add how many days you want in between. So if you want to wait eight days between this email sequence, then you can have it set up there. And then we're going to go on to the next section, which is the setup of the campaign. So now over here, you can configure the sender accounts and the schedule that you want to send the campaign on. So if you want to schedule the campaign, you pick your time zone first. So let's say we're in EST, we can go over to somewhere that is in the EST time zone. Let's go Toronto, for example, pick the days you want to send, pick the times you want to send. It is in military time for all you Americans out there. So if you want to do 3 p.m., it's 15, and then you can set the times accordingly send how often the emails want to be sent out. So you don't want to send it too short. It says the minimum time gap is three minutes, but I would say, for example, let's say we want to send out 30 emails per day, then we would configure how many minutes that would be to have 30 emails per day. So let's, let's keep bumping it down nine. That would be 40. Let's do 10. Then that's 36. Uh, you can just adjust it however you'd like. If you want to set a start date, you can do that here. And then the max amount of leads reached per day from this campaign. So this is the max amount of new leads reached out. So if you've already been reaching out to campaigns and you're in follow-ups, it might be more than this, but this is the max amount of new ones. You can save it here. And then sender accounts, you can select the accounts that you want to have added. So in this example, we'll add the email account that we just configured, save the email settings, and then we can save and next. And then we can see what the emails look like before they're sent out. So you can see all the different emails. You can send a test email. You can look at all the contacts. Another feature that I glaze over really quickly that Smartlead has is spin tax. What spin tax essentially is, is it allows you to cycle between different variations of email. So let's say, for example, you want to say hi or hey, then you can do an open curly brace, put a little line there and put hello. So if you do hello, with a line and high, it'll randomly pick between high and hello. And you can see that in the final review here, if I actually have it saved. All right, so I just saved it with Spintax. So you can see in this email, it says, hello, Adam. And if you look at this email, it says hi. So if you do uh, spin tax, it can switch between those two different variations. Super useful feature. Another thing you can do is go and look at the broader campaign settings. You can figure the sending pattern you want to use, the email deliverability settings, if you want to send plain text, if you want to track e email opens or not, if you want to auto analyze the different senders that the email accounts are coming from. So this is a super useful feature. If you have Outlook and Gmail accounts, you can have the Outlook sent to Outlook and Gmail sent to Gmail. So Super useful feature if you have that set up, it will increase your deliverability. You can have AI lead categorization. This is only on the pro plans, but once again, this is a game changer. So in the master inbox, you can have it show up whether or not it's interested, not interested. Smart Leads AI can go through and set that up. And then unsubscribe, you can have an unsubscribe link. So you can put unsub and then that can be a link added to all your emails. You can add the email accounts and save the settings here. So that is the campaign setup. I know that's a lot, but let's just start this dummy campaign so I can dive in and show you subsequences. Another feature Smart Lead has, essentially this allows you to send campaigns under campaigns. So for example, if you have a automatic reply sequence that you wanna have set out for the people that are interested, that automatically books them in for a meeting, you can set up the sub campaign based on their lead category. So let's say the lead is marked as interested, you can have it delay for one day or however long you want. And then you can 
and say, okay, well, how is it going to reply to this? So, you know, hi name, glad you're interested. Let's set up a time to chat. Once again, demo email, don't write this, but you can have this, have it set and another follow-up. You can set up campaigns with campaigns essentially, which is another really cool feature Smart Lead has. And it's a huge time saver if you want to handle replies at scale, something I'd recommend you guys check out. And then now that we've looked at email campaigns, let's dive into the master inbox. So now you should be sending your emails out. And after the emails come in, you can look at them manually through Gmail, Outlook, Zoho, whatever you're using. But Smart Lead makes it super easy to have a master inbox where you can just see all the replies from all the campaigns here. So you can look at the lead list. It auto categorizes. This is the auto categorization I was showing you guys. As you can see, it auto categorizes these as out of office, not interested. So you can use Smart Lead to automatically filter what you should and shouldn't be replying to. Uh, I'm not going to dive into these emails because I don't want to show the emails I'm sending out, but you can look at the emails, reply to them directly through Smart Lead, another super useful feature. So that's the email accounts, master inbox, the email um, campaigns. And then integration. So Smartly just added this where you can add LinkedIn accounts. So it can be part of your sequences for outreach. So if you wanna add a LinkedIn account, you can do this here. It's an additional charge, but I haven't tested it out super thoroughly, but I think this can be super useful if you wanna add LinkedIn accounts, sending connection requests along with emails. Really cool feature. You can have client access. This is the white labeling feature I was talking about before. So if you have clients and you wanna use Smart Lead and white label it, then you can do that through here. You can go in the the top right, click add a client, and then you can add their name, email, create a password for them, add categories that they can and can't see, set the email and lead credits if you want to do that. And then you can have your company name here. So it's branded along with yours. Another feature, haven't seen any other email platform use. Another reason why Smart Lead is super useful. And then the last thing that we're going to touch on is the global analytics. So global analytics, this is where you can see all your campaigns history. Uh, you can select the campaigns you want to view, look at the sends, look at the replies. Basically, it allows you to see everything at a glance, which is really nice if you're managing a ton of campaigns and you want to compile the data, shows you the lead stats and the overall channel breakup. And then now we're going to actually go into the Smart Lead campaign settings. So I'm going to pull up on a different account so I can show you the different tag manager and the team member settings. So over here, this is where you can add tags. So let's say I want to have a tag where these are warmed emails. You can configure that here, click create, and then you can apply this to different email accounts. Team members, if you have more people on your team and you want to invite them, you can invite a team member, give them the different accesses, lead categories. So this is what we were talking about in the master inbox. If you want to add a lead category, a custom one, you can configure that here. These are the tags that you're using in the email master inboxes. And then the last part, we'll kind of cover the pricing. So smart lead, super affordable compared to a lot of the different tools on the market that charge per inbox. Smart lead charges like flat fee, depending on the leads and the emails you want to contact per month. So there's a basic plan for 39. It goes up to the pro plan at 94. For most people, the pro plan is more than enough, but for other people who want to take this to the moon, they have custom plans. Once again, probably the most affordable pricing I've seen out of any cold email tool. And for what you're getting in terms of what you can get from the outreach, from the emails you send, this is more than affordable. iBook, for example, 60 meetings per month for me and my clients. And for the price that I'm paying, that is a really, really good deal. But that's Smart Lead at a glance. Once again, one of my favorite cold email tools, the best cold email tool on the market that I see right now. And it's what I'm personally using. And so if you have any questions about it, you can leave in the comments below. And if you don't want to have to set any of this up and you want to just have an expert handle the email outreach for you, you can look in the description and book a time for me at my agency to see if we can help you do outreach on behalf of you. But if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And I hope you have a great day and check out Smart Lead. The link to sign up will be in the description. Have a good one.